So let's do the first one first. Now this is a caponata that you would find in Sicily, and of course you want to start with firm eggplants, like the ones I got out of the garden. So after you wash and dry them, then just cut off the top, and then I take a little piece off the base here to make it easier for me to cut. Then I just stand the eggplant up and make some incisions, just make some cuts in the eggplant, almost down to the base, but not quite all the way down. And then cut it the other way, almost a crisscross cut. And then that'll make it easy for you to cut up and dice up. So isn't that look pretty? Just the way it is. So now you can cut this up into pieces, you see, just like that. Well then, I put the eggplant into a colander, just like this, see? And then you have to get the bitter juices out. So you want to put it on a plate, or you put it in the sink, and put some salt over it, a lot of salt. You'll be rinsing that off later. Then take it and put it over to the sink with a weight on top. And I usually just take a heavy pan, fill it with water, and sit it on top for a few hours. And then, Later, you'll drain it, and there's all that bitter juice. So we've got that all out. And then you want to wash, and you want to dry it. So now that's ready to go into some peanut oil. Before I do that, though, I've got to check some onions that I have sauteing down here in olive oil. So now to do this, get some peanut oil. Oh, start with about a half a cup. And you want to put the eggplant in, just like that and move it around. Now this has to cook down, oh, for about five or ten minutes, just until it's beginning to brown. So let me check my onions here. I've got to be careful now. Okay, I've got to turn those off. And I've got to check my eggplant, because that's starting to brown up nicely. Okay, back to this. So now, now we can take this out. You see this is starting to brown. And to do that, I want to take that out with a couple of slotted spoons. Now, you want to put this out onto some brown paper to drain. Just get it all out. And then, in this same frying pan, I'm going to put some olive oil. Just a little bit. First, I cooked this in peanut oil. I hope you were paying attention. And now I'm going to switch to olive oil. And I want just a little bit to put in with my onions. Okay, that's good. And now the olive oil. So now for this, I want to get my onions in here, and I have had four onions cooking down in some olive oil right here, and they're almost to the glazed, they are to the glazed stage. And I'm going to put them right in with the oil. You see how nice that looks. And then with this, I want to add some tomato paste. And here it is, right here. I want about a cup of tomato paste. In Sicily, of course, this is called conserva. And they take the tomatoes and put them on wooden boards, dry them in the sun, plum tomatoes, that is. And then when they're dried, they make them down into a paste. So here it is. I'm just going to do that. You see? Drain off the celery. And first, I'm going to add the water to dilute the tomato, just like that, and get this mixed again. And now the whole point of cooking these vegetables the way I am is that you want to preserve the individual flavor. So if I had just thrown all of this together in a pot, well, I wouldn't have the distinct flavors of all of these vegetables coming through. But if you make caponata this way, I guarantee you that you will taste every single flavor when you're done. So when it's well mixed, like so, well then you can put in the celery. So now the celery goes in. And isn't this starting to look pretty already? So mix that in. And now, of course, this is the sauce that's going to give the eggplant its flavor. And actually what we're creating here is something which is known in Italian as agro dolce, a sweet and sour flavor at the same time. And to give it that, we need about two-thirds of a cup of red wine vinegar. And then we want some Sicilian olives. This is about a cup of olives. And that's these cute little fellas right here. And they come in brine. You can buy those in the grocery store. So mix that in. And then to that, you want to add, again, 
some capers. So here is about a half a cup of capers that's going in. So now we've got our agro dolce flavor developing, but now we need to add some sugar. And here is about a half a cup of sugar. And that goes in. Get, the, get that all mixed in. And then the last thing you're going to add to this before you let it simmer for about 10, 15 minutes is cocoa, about two teaspoons of cocoa. Now that's very common in a lot of Sicilian cooking and it's extremely common in this version of caponata. It really gives a very nice finish to this dish and also lends a little bit of color. And did you know that cocoa was introduced to the Italians by the Spaniards? First of all, I've got to put some olive oil in my frying pan here. And let's see, what did I do with that? Here it is. A little bit of olive oil goes into the frying pan. I want to get that hot. Well, I think that this is neat. He's a little large, isn't he? Now this is a neat way to serve caponata. And take a large eggplant, cut off the top again, and I'm going to cut this in half, just like so. And now I'm going to take off a little bit of the outside just to let that remain flatter than it is. Well, he is a little lopsided, isn't he? Let me take off another little piece there. There, put this over to the side. And now what you want to do is hollow this out. To do that, I take a small knife and just go around the inside of the eggplant. You want to take out most of the flesh, but you want to leave a cavity, you see? So go around with a knife and then dig it out with your hands or use a spoon. Don't throw this away. You can always use this as a vegetable that you saute in a little olive oil or you can put it in soup. So there's that. And then you bring up a platter. And here's mine. And the eggplant can go right on top of there. Now let me go get the, egg, uh, the uh, caponata that I made earlier. Because this is something that's really served cold, and it's better if the flavors marinate. So there is mine. Doesn't that look wonderful? Now what am I going to do with this? Well, for this, I'm going to put some bread in the olive oil, because this is a neat way to serve it, I think. So here is some homemade bread, or something known as pane casareccio. And I'm going to put it in the olive oil to fry it, and I want it to brown on both sides. And let me go back here and see what we're doing. Now this is starting to look wonderful. And I think I can start to add my eggplant. So let me move this out of the way. And now the eggplant goes right back into that pot with all of this, all the tomato and the onions. I'm gonna put the rest of this in. As I say, this is going to make an awful lot of caponata. This is something that will last, as I say, for several weeks. So now get it into the pan, and now you have to mix this all around. And I wish you could smell this, because it's smelling absolutely wonderful. And guess what I smell? Onions and cocoa and tomatoes and all those distinct flavors. So I'm going to let that cook a while and come back to it. Now, filling this, let me see how we're doing on our bread here, because I want to make sure that I don't lose that in burning it. You just check it. Okay, it's coming along nicely. Now, for this, we want to fill. So, taking a spoon, take some of that eggplant, and just fill the cavity, just like that. Look at how wonderful that looks. You can bring it to the table just like this. And you can either make the, the bread fried in oil, or how about just taking some fresh bread and putting it right around the outside, you see? Just like that. And people can just help themselves and, and show you this version. So now we've got to turn that around. Yes, that looks lovely. And let that brown. And now there's another way to do this. And let me show you this. This is a version of what is known in Italian cooking as a bruschetta, which means that we round the bread a little bit. So after you have the bread in olive oil, like so, then you want to take it out and drain it on paper. Turn this off now because I don't need that. 
just like that. You see? How nice that looks. And then you get those crumbs off. When it's cooled down, put a slice on a plate just like that. And then bring over your caponata and put it right over the top, just like that. And I can't think of anything finer to eat. It is absolutely regal to look at and to taste. That's wonderful. So that goes off. Now let me see how we're doing here. OK, another stir. This needs about, oh, I would say 10 more minutes to do. So I'm going to let that cook. And you know, I'm not done with this yet, because going through all this work, this deserves to be given to someone that you really like. So here's what else you can do with this. Take a jar, you see, because I told you that this would last a long time. And then get out a couple spoons and fill the jar with eggplant. Now, I mean fill clean, sterilized jars with eggplant. I just think that this is a wonderful thing to keep on hand. And I have jars and jars of this stuff in my refrigerator. My son always says to me, don't we ever have any real food? So in this goes all the way to the top, just like that. And then you put a cover on, you see? Just like this. And then what I like to do is gussy it up a little bit with a nice little piece of gingham. And then a rubber band goes over the top like that. You see? And then take a cute little ribbon and tie it around. And you have created an interesting gift for someone. 